I know this. So what do our current students look like? Okay, well, obviously they don't all look like John Belushi, right? <laughs> no, they don't look like John Belushi, but this is an updated version of the late John, or the, the, the current student, right? So the typical student of today has what? Got a phone. They're definitely texting. They're emailing. Maybe they're even taking pictures, right? More than likely has an iPod. And they're connected what? 24 hours. They probably have a MySpace page. Definitely on, probably on my Facebook also. Use the internet. So they got the iPhone. They got wireless. And let's say, like for example, what happened to me? You know, I, 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 I was making a comment. They looked it up online as, they, as I was speaking. They looked it up online, and the students said, oh, no, the, the actual year of that invention was so-and-so and so-and-so, <laughs> right? Oh, I go, oh, thank you very much. Okay, so good. A great way to add. So the students have what? They have that right at their fingertips, instant access to knowledge and information. Okay, they could be watching a, a, few, a press conference as Barack Obama's coming into town. So... Uh, they use internet, watches, what, what do they watch a lot? Watching a lot of YouTube, watching a lot of YouTube, meaning they're watching those videos online, they're watching movies, they're watching video clips, they're watching uh, uh, crazy cat tricks, they're just watching this uh, continually. It's online many hours a day and is one of his ma or her major sources of what? Entertainment and socialization. So those, the student of today is coming in, and they're sharing tips on their favorite instructor, their class, their boyfriend, their girlfriend, uh, whatever, their music. So what do we look like? What does the average professor here on cat here, and I've seen this you know, at many campuses, what does the average professor here look like? They, they come here on campus, and, and so they see the typical professor has a cell phone, right? I'm assuming you all have a cell phone that makes a what? A basic phone call. One way, I call my son, my daughter, that's it. I don't text them. I don't, I don't watch videos. They don't do any email, no what? No iPod. I don't even know what an iPod is. Has never seen what? MySpace or Facebook. Uses the internet, maybe you just check email, has never seen a video on what? YouTube. On YouTube. It's online to do business only. For example, college business. You just, you know, you're there like this, you know, hunt and peck. Okay, you answer the email, press submit, that's it, turn the machine off. Mm -hmm. Alright, so where do you think those students are then? <laughs> right? We know we, we know they're they're eons, right? So there's a definite what? Gap, right? Here's the professor and here's the student, right? Total, there's definitely a, a canyon here of usage and of technology. Student expects the professor to know, right? Some students, they come in, hey, hey, why don't you just text me? Why don't you IM me at night? Or right, check out my site on, 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 on Facebook. They're like, what? So it's definitely uh, two different languages here. All right, so this is how the professor some professors of today, how they see themselves. So they come in and they go, I'm a guru, I know everything, what's your major? So they come in, there's a professor, sees a student, generational gap, right? Generational gap, all right? What they call digital immigrants, right? That's the term, <laughs> digital immigrants. So how the students see us? So. Here they are, some cartoons. So this says website, have lame website, please help. So this, so this professor here walking by sees a lot of what? A laptop here, right? And it's notice, notice what it says. Almost like uh, this website needs help. This is what students are looking for. When students come on here on campus, what's the first thing they look at? They look at your website. That's how they communicate. They look at your website. Another area is all right, this, this guy comes in, student comes in, and he's looking for the easy instructor. He sees this, he goes, you know what, I'm going to avoid the instructor who's organized and means business. He's going to look for the easygoing, disorganized one because he's learning like this. By visually, he's learning, right? He's seeing this. So what do you think? So visually, the it's similar to the student going online, and they're saying, hmm, okay, they're, they're what? They're going online, they're seeing, they're, they're looking up 
instructors who's an easy instructor. And there's a website for that also. All right, so here's also a low-tech email. This is uh, the, the, the instructor who's what? Communicating, and then here's the other one. All right, not to say that you should have some uh, interaction with your colleague. All right. So then we got uh, uh, now pretty much uh, most instructors. You know they're nice, well-meaning, but in terms of integrating more technology, this is how students see us. They see us as what kind of a Barney, you know, nice, well-meaning, but uh, you know, kind of somewhat, uh, uh, you know, just you know, not keeping up. Well, <laughs> So, so there's uh, 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 Belushi again. Let's see if we can get, get my little video here. All right, this one, because it's a little, uh, let's see if we can get our, okay. Integrating video here. Let's see if we get our little uh, uh, video clip here going. All right, and how uh, students are seeing education today. All right, so there's the old fashioned classroom. All right. And, all right, there's actually sound here, but this is actually, you know, uh, what are we seeing? We're, we're in a transition from industrial age, the factory, uh, and now we're in a full uh, information age. And this two minute, this is a two minute and 30 second video, all right, comparing what? All the different, uh, uh, how knowledge has changed and how students are accessing knowledge. This is on, uh, on YouTube. I have a whole bunch of videos on YouTube. I'll show you as well. So students can go on here, and in less than two or three minutes, they can, uh, they can get all the information they need even before your class starts, your history, your, uh, your geography, uh, biology. They can go online, like, you know, that actress who died yesterday? I just typed in the, what killed her. I just went on Google, typed in. She, you know, did it. Boom. I got a, there was even a full video a 3D animation showing how her head head hit and how she died by uh, Natasha Richardson. So, uh, you know, uh, so there's a picture of an iPod, 15,000 songs, the old jukebox, right? So what is the average student carrying in their iPod is, you know, all, using all this entertainment. Notice that's moving faster, right? Collaboration or multimedia. So there is the old classroom, remember that? The old classroom, the instructor as the sole uh, figure of knowledge and information. Now the internet, these students with laptops, uh, and this is the old way of working, right? That was the old way. Now it's designing cars, doing 3D models, etc., using multiple machines. So that's how uh, many of our students are going to be working uh, today. They're going to be working at a fast-paced, multimedia, information, rich, and these Web 2.0 skills are going to come in handy for them. So the question they ask then is, uh, you know, are we, are we teaching them uh, what they need to know to survive and thrive in the 21st century? 